Franklin Templeton Investments presents Behavioral Finance for Everyday Investors, creating awareness around concepts to help you with your long-term investing success. Today's lesson, herding. Not that kind of herding. Well, not exactly anyway. Herding is the idea that people are more comfortable investing their money in the same way as the majority of others at any given time. Simply put, it's relying on the wisdom of the crowd, even when the crowd may be doing something kind of nutty. To illustrate how nutty, we give you the tulip bulb craze of the 1600s. It all happened in the Netherlands, also known as Holland, where the people are Dutch and their shoes are noisy. In the early 1600s, the tulip was introduced to Holland, and it was a flower unlike any they had seen before. So enamored were the Dutch for this new flower and its many varieties, that they began investing in and trading contracts for tulip bulbs. And the prices just kept going up and up and up. Some people were making big bucks, or florins, investing in tulip bulbs. At one point, a single bulb sold for 10 times a skilled craftsman's annual income. It was all good, until one day when tulip buyers didn't show up at the market. Sure, the bubonic plague might have had something to do with it, but without as many buyers, everything started to collapse. In the ensuing panic, people sold their bulbs as hastily as they bought them when prices were going up. So what can we learn from tulip mania? That the 17th century Dutch really loved their flowers? No, the real lesson is that during the height of any investing bubble, it all seems to make sense, largely because it's what everybody else is doing. Not until a market collapses do people say to themselves, what were we thinking? And the herd mentality associated with bubbles isn't just something from the distant past. From the dot-com bubble of the late 1990s to the more recent bubble in real estate, people still have a tendency to see irrational decisions as rational. So what can you do? At Franklin Templeton, we believe working with a financial advisor is one of the best ways to avoid the fads of popular thinking, while spotting opportunities the herd may have missed. Ask your financial advisor about other things you can do to take a more rational approach to investing.